Urvashi Purohit is a young advocate very curious to know many things. She is practicing in Gujarat High Court and she is a regular viewer of our channel Legal Inspiration. She has asked me so many questions. In fact, these are sub questions compounded in one question. So there are about six questions that she has asked about advocacy and the practice and procedure of the High Court and certain things like that. I will be answering those questions in this video by taking them up one by one. So Urvashi Purohit says, Sir Namaskar. Sir, I have been practicing in the Gujarat High Court for two and a half months and I am not working under any senior advocate. Here actually I want to give one counsel to my young advocate friends including Urvashi. Please do not start on your own in the legal profession. Please, please, please join some seniors chambers. There you will get the right start. You will be starting by holding someone's hand safely. If you start on your own, you will be at a loss to understand so many things. And not only that, you will also be deprived of a valuable experience that you should get in a senior's chamber of appearing before the courts, of drafting the cases, of reading the briefs, of researching things, of talking to clients and all that. So please do not deprive yourself of this opportunity to start in a senior's chamber. So anyways, now that Urvashi has not joined any senior's chamber, she has certain questions and I think I should answer them because not only Urvashi but many other junior and young advocates may be having same kinds of questions. So let us move ahead. So she says, therefore, sir, asking you these queries. All right. Sir, yesterday when I was in a court in Gujarat High Court, I heard the judge was dictating an order in which he said, the learned advocate for the applicant shall supply a copy of memo of petition within a period of two days and the returnable date is extended up to 7 December and the office note stands disposed of accordingly. So that's what the learned judge dictated. Now Urvashi wants to know what does it mean? Okay, so Urvashi, simply speaking, the Honorable Court has ordered the counsel for the applicant in that matter to supply a copy of memo of petition within a particular period and in this case two days. Now the copy of the petition is to be supplied to I suppose in this case to the registry of the High Court for enabling the registry of the High Court to issue notices to the other party. I mean in this case the order to issue notices must have already been passed by this by the High Court in that petition and for executing that order of issuing notices through court process the registry of the High Court must be wanting copies of the memo of the petition which must not have been supplied by the uh, parties in that petition and therefore the court ordered the counsel for petitioner to ensure that the copies of the memo of the petition are supplied to the registry within two days and when the court says that the returnable date is extended up to 7 December and the office note stands disposed of accordingly so my guess is the day on which the court was passing this order was the date on which the court had made the notices returnable. I mean the order of issuance of notices must have been passed on some previous date and the returnable date on which it was expected was the date on which this order was being passed. And by this date the other party must not have been served because there was some default on the part of the petitioner in supplying the copies of the memo of the petition to the registry, which default 
handicap the registry from executing the court's order of issuance of notices. And this must have consumed the time up to the returnable date on which this order was being passed. And therefore, the court permitted, rather directed, the counsel for the petitioner to supply the copies of the petition to the registry and also extended the returnable date by making it definite up to a particular date, in this case, 7th December. So all this must have been noted by the office on the farad sheet, on the order sheet of the case, which the court must have read. And therefore further the court says that with the passing of this order, the office note stands disposed of, means the office note is now taken care by the Honorable Court. And that is what the meaning of the order passed by the court is. I suppose the things are very clear to you now, Urvashi, and all my dear young advocate friends. The next question of Urvashi is connected to the very first question. She wants to know, what is the meaning of notice returnable on certain date? Okay. Now see, when the High Court hears the matter for the first time, on the first date, the court assesses whether the matter has any merits, whether the matter has any worth, so that the court can take cognizance of it and can call upon the other side, the opposite side, to answer the petition. If the court, after assessing the matter, after hearing the parties, comes to the conclusion that yes, there is some worth in the matter, there is some merit in the matter, then the court passes an order directing issuance of notices of that petition, calling upon the other side to answer that petition. And that is called an order issuing notices. You see, I have already uploaded a video on this channel explaining what it all means. The hearing procedure, the admission hearing procedure, the final hearing procedure, what is rule and what is admit and all that. If you watch that video, many more things will become clear to you. But for now, let me explain to you what this means. So as I told you, when the court finds some worth in the matter, such worth that it requires calling the other side to answer the petition or, or it requires hearing the other side before deciding the matter, the court orders issuance of notices of the court to the other side. Now, while issuing notices to the other side, the court expects the notices of the court to be served on the other side by a particular date depending upon the subject matter of the petition. So many times courts make the notices returnable say after three weeks, maybe four weeks depending upon the uh, busyness of the court or depending upon the urgency involved in the matter. It is the discretion of the court what should be the time period within which the notices should be made returnable. So when the court makes notices returnable up to a particular date as mentioned in the order or up to a particular time period as mentioned in the order itself, it means that, in, that the notices of the court should be actually served upon the other side and a report of that service should be there on the record. That is what issuance of notices returnable up to a particular date means. So I really appreciate Urvashi your curiosity and I would uh, suggest, I would counsel all my young advocate friends to be curious all the time whenever you are in practice. Always follow the formula of four W's and one H whenever they apply. Four W's means four words which begin with W. What, when, where and why. And one H means how. Be Childlike curious, ask these questions to yourself, raise these questions and find out answers. 
either through books or through senior advocates or through your senior but don't leave the things unanswered because there will be missing links then in your knowledge and understanding there will be gaps you will be just going ahead with those gaps you will be always at a loss to understand many things in future so don't leave those gaps always fill them up by finding out by searching answers to these questions so be curious be childlike learn grow and enjoy the legal profession my dear young friends thanks for watching